Well, Charlie Gard is getting one last shot at life. He's an 11-month-old baby. He's severely ill. His parents are hoping they can extend his life with experimental treatments here in the United States. They want to pay for those treatments themselves. But a panel of British doctors say the boy should be killed immediately instead, and they're calling that mercy. Now, a judge on Britain's high court has given Gard's parents two days to come up with evidence their son should be allowed to live, come to the United States for treatments. It's all before a Thursday hearing that will decide ultimately what happened. Charles Krauthammer is, among many other things, a physician and an ethicist, and he joins us now to talk about uh, this. So there are two different ways of looking at this, Charles. You and I have talked about this. Um, and one is from the personal perspective, and the other is from the legal perspective. In other words, what should the parents do, and then what should the state allow the parents to do? How would you divide those up? Look, I think the real tragedy here is there are two principles in conflict, and they are essentially the parents are sovereign. Yes. But the parents can be wrong. Yes. And we have to tolerate the two facts. In this particular case, I think the parents are wrong. If it were me looking at the objective evidence, I think this child is in terrible distress. He can't hear, he can't see, he can't move, he cannot swallow. He's intubated. I've been intubated for weeks at a time. And I can tell you it's a life of distress, on the edge of despair, and this child can't speak. I was an adult at the time, I could speak. He can't speak. The merciful thing to do, I believe, if it were my choice, if I were king, would be to remove the tubes, allow the child to die, and to end the suffering. The parents think otherwise. I think in the end, these issues are irresolvable, and therefore, we ought to allow the decision to be made by those who love the child the most, who have the most uh, pure of motives. And in this case, it's the parents who want to bring him to wherever. I think this is a cruel hoax, these, this holding out of hope for a disease that is utterly incurable. There are people, this happens every time you have a terrible case like this. Some hospital or doctor will claim he's got some kind of new treatment. I, I don't believe a word of it. However, the parents do. They want to bring Charlie here for treatment. I say they ought to be sovereign, ought to be the one who decides. How can we have a but system? That's why it's a tragedy. Well, it is. And whatever you think about their decision, do you want to live in a society where the government can make this decision for your child? I mean, when did we cede the right to make these decisions for our own children? Well, I can give you an extreme example where you would agree the state ought to step in. Well, if the parents are negligent or crazy that, or non compass menace no, or drunk, crazy. I get it. If they're Christian scientists and they don't want to, to allow blood to be transfused, the state steps in and says, I'm sorry, you're no longer sovereign, you're endangering the child. To, you, s to save the to life save, of the child. I agree. The state is stepping in here to kill the child. Well, the word kill, I think, is a loaded word. This is a stepping in to remove the artificial means that are being used. Yes to keep a child in what I would call a state of utter distress uh, at, at the best. Look, parents can make a mistake. The state at some, at some point has to step in for parents who aren't insane, but who may have a religious belief or some other that threatens a child. But these are rare cases, and I think that generally speaking, since there is no way to adjudicate this, uh, in a way that's objective. There are no objective values. It has to be in the hands of the parents, well, of which is why does. I would say to the state, let them do what they think is right for the child, even though I disagree. Of course, but the I mean, there, there are many things that you see people do with their children you disagree with, but you, you know, parents have to be in charge. Well, there's no, there is no other rule. Yeah. There's no other bright line you could follow that would be reliable, and that's the most reliable. Charles Parents Cranley. care. Thank you. Like yes, Cuomo, apparently, he cares as well. Parents care more. He cares a lot. About the children. Even as you sleep, he's caring.